Hi there, Gary Steerman. Time for another update from Prophecy in the News. Today, the 26th of January, a Thursday, and I'm going to answer another viewer question. Actually, this uh, gentleman uh, who has this question is both a viewer and someone I've met in person. Uh, he writes, Dear Brother Steerman, we spoke briefly during Tom Horn's conference in Branson. Uh, I was the older fellow who asked you about the generation before Adam, and, and I remember you. This gentleman's name's Richard. Richard, uh, who lives in Farmington, Missouri, attends a Baptist church there, and uh, he was attending a Bible study, and he uh, was presented with the idea that uh, the, there are only three angels mentioned in the Bible. And he says, I also have a Dake study Bible, which I like. Uh, I don't totally agree with it, but I like most of it. And he says, quote, Dake states that there are four angels mentioned in the Bible, Michael, Gabriel, Lucifer, and Abaddon. Well, Lucifer is certainly a fallen angel. Abaddon uh, is certainly a fallen angel. As a matter of fact, he is imprisoned right now awaiting his release. Uh, in Revelation uh, uh, chapter 9, verse 11, speaking of the angels that will be released during the Great Tribulation, uh, they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, which means destruction or the destroyer. But in the Greek tongue, his name is Apollyon, which also means in Greek the same thing, the destroyer. Apollyon uh, is simply the Greek way of saying Apollo, the sun god. Apollo is imprisoned uh, and will be released during the tribulation period. And so, Richard, uh, I, I think it's correct to say that there are four angels mentioned in the Bible, Michael, Gabriel, Lucifer, and Abaddon, or Apollyon. Uh, and, and, of course, Lucifer and Apollyon are really, really bad characters. But let's go back uh, to Daniel chapter uh, 10 for a moment, and, and we see a couple more angels, I think. Uh, an angel of the Lord says to Daniel in 1018, Then there came again and touched me, one like the appearance of a man, and he strengthened me. And he said, O man greatly beloved, fear not, peace be unto thee. Be strong, yea, be strong. And when he had spoken unto me, I was strengthened and said, Let my Lord speak, for thou hast strengthened me. Then he said, Knowest thou wherefore I come unto thee? And now I will return to fight with the prince of Persia. And when I am gone forth, lo, the prince of Grecia shall come. But I will show thee that which is noted in the scripture of truth. There is none that holdeth with me in these things, but Michael, your prince. And so here we have an interesting conversation. The angel of the Lord has, has visited Daniel, and he says, I'm going to return. I'm going to do battle with the prince of Persia. Now, I believe the prince of Persia is a fallen angel who uh, governs or has some heavenly governance over the land of Persia. And likewise, the prince of Grecia, uh, perhaps has, a, has some kind of a rule over uh, what used to be called Grecia, became the Greco-Roman world, and then in the days of Jesus became the Roman Empire. But here we have the prince of Greece, the prince of Persia, mentioned along with Michael. <clears throat> and so to answer your letter or your query via email, we have Michael, Gabriel, Lucifer, Abaddon, and certainly we, we can add to those the Prince of Persia and the Prince of Greece. That's kind of fascinating that angels have this sort of rule over the world. Uh, if you'll recall, when Paul <clears throat> wrote uh, Ephesians, he, he had a very interesting thing to say. Uh, I'm going to find Ephesians while I'm talking here. <clears throat> Ephesians 6.10 Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, in the power of his might. 
Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, the schemes of the devil. That would be Satan, the old serpent. And then, of course, in Ephesians 6, 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. In other words, there is a hierarchy of dark angels against whom we constantly wrestle. I think it's fair to say that there are certainly four, maybe five, maybe six angels mentioned, but Paul speaks of the angels in uh, not just in plural, but apparently in large plural form, because the world of the redeemed is in a wrestling match against principalities. In the Greek, this is the word archon. Now, an archon in the Greek is a high prince or a chief prince who is a prince over a region, such as the prince of Persia or the prince of Greece. So <clears throat> Paul says we wrestle uh, not just against flesh and blood, but against archons, against powers, that's exousia, which meaning delegated authorities. So beneath the archons, there would be uh, perhaps thousands, maybe millions, I don't know, of fallen angels. A and beneath those would be the rulers of the darkness of this world, uh, cosmocrators, they are called, and they uh, would be the legions of the demons. And beneath them, wickedness, wicked schemes in high places. So we are doing daily battle against many levels of fallen angels, led by who knows how many archons and who knows how many delegated authorities. An excellent question. Again, certainly there is Michael. He's the, uh, the prince of Israel. He is, if you will, the guardian angel of Israel. We have uh, Gabriel, who is the strong man of God. We we, uh, we have Lucifer, the fallen angel. We have Abaddon uh, the, or Apollyon. We also have the prince of Persia, the prince of Greece, and who knows how many other prince, princes. Uh, I think the reason the Bible doesn't go to great length in mentioning the names of fallen angels is because we're really not to be preoccupied with them. I think we're supposed to be looking toward the Lord <clears throat> and toward the angel of the Lord, <laughs> and in particular, our Lord Jesus Christ for strength. And that being said, we don't need to worry about the names of the fallen angels. There are many of them around, probably more than you'd care to know about. But I appreciate your ans asking this question, Richard. And <clears throat> I do remember seeing you at Branson and answering uh, your question at the time uh, and having a nice conversation with you. I hope we can see you again soon one of these days. But meanwhile... Keep watching, keep the emails coming, and uh, we'll see how many other good questions we can answer from not only you, but our other viewers. Gary Stearman, we're watching, constantly watching the Middle East, watching the economy, watching global politics, reading the Bible, finding context, and awaiting the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, keep looking up.